don't know, it should come away. It's not that heavy actually. My side's free. Yeah, my side's free. Okay, so we're going to move forward to the front of the car. So the bonnet cross brace should have a piece of felt uh, between the cross brace and the, and the bonnet itself. Because this is a custom fit, uh, the actual space between the cross brace and the, and the bonnet itself is actually quite large. So I've made these cork kind of sandwiches or, or biscuits I suppose to go under it. Now they're a little too tight right now, it's pushing too much. So I'm just going to shave a little bit off, I actually grind a little bit off the cork. Uh, to see if that'll fit a little bit better. Okay, bumper is now refitted. Uh, the body shop had put the bumper on, but they forgot to put the rubber ferrules in. So those are now attached. I've also put chrome bolts in here to cover up the overrider bolt hole. I'm not putting overriders on right now. So that just uh, fills up that hole there.
Okay, we've got the uh, car up on ramps and access stands at the back. Just gonna have a quick look underneath. Now, I was quite surprised when I was looking here earlier. These tie bar bushes, I put them on two years ago, already starting to crack. So that's a bit disappointing, but not entirely unexpected when you hear about the cost of cheap stuff for parts. This looks a bit dirty under here because I used hmm, probably too much grease on the outside. It's attracted a lot of dust when it was in the uh, the paint shop. So I'm going to do the brakes. I'll give that a good clean up. Here's the chassis rails from the other side. Got to make sure I clean up these drain holes. I sprayed wax on the inside to make sure those are clear. There's the underside of the battery box. There's the steering rack. And the side of the hood, of course. So this is a left-hand drive car, so the brake master cylinder is going to go in there. Of course, the same holes are on the other side for a right-hand drive. This was all treated. Although it looks a bit grotty, we did all get treated, painted, so hopefully it'll last. This is a special plate that my welder buddy put on when it was in the body shop. The guys drilled through it to locate a big kind of a hook thing, which they used when they tweaked the uh, the chassis. It was slightly out of alignment, so that needs repairing. It's all being painted up above inside the chassis rail. I just need to uh, rub that down, paint it move on everything else under here it's looking pretty good there's my poor welding of course it should look pretty good i've been working on it for eight years and then i decided as you can see from maybe from other videos that the front half would be green and the back half would be black don't ask me why but it seemed like a good idea at the time there's the jacking point and the central cross member this was all in good shape there's a, a torsion bar bolting onto the cross member there. There's a bolt, two bolts for the cross member and the cross member bracket here. And here's the rear spring hanger. This part all got welded a few years ago. Again, not very pretty welding. The other spring hanger. This is the underside of the uh, driver's side floor. So these are the screw holes or uh, yeah, the bolt holes, I guess, for the front seats. There's the other torsion bar on the driver's side. This is the uh, inside of the chassis rail there. You probably can't see down there, but that's where the uh, brake line is going to come through. That's the driver's side spring hanger from the other side. For some reason, the poor 15 that are painted here is, uh, I don't know, it's actually rubbed off. I think I put solvent on too early and it uh, took it off. So I'm going to touch that up just to protect it. Another one of those drain holes there just to make sure that's nice and clear. It's a rear suspension. As you probably saw from another video, I, I put the telescopic shock conversion kit on and took off the um, regular shock absorbers or lever arm dampers 